What is up YouTube? I am psyched making this little video for you guys today because I just got something in the mail after ordering it less than three days ago. I ordered it Sunday night and it is now Tuesday afternoon. And this has come all the way from, hold on, Michigan from High Tech Solar Inc. So you can probably guess what that is. You can see the packaging. Eh, I've seen better. I mean, there's this gap here, but I don't. That doesn't really matter that much. Um, obviously, if the panel's broken, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But I have a good feeling that it's not. So I've already cut some of the ties with my open old number six knife, um, which I highly recommend for everything because it is very cheap and you can make it very sharp. So <clears throat> let me just cut these last few ties here. Easier. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. All right, and this one. Obviously, I have not looked at this. <laughs> so, this should be a 120-watt panel. And shipping was free. And you can guess how much I paid for it. It was $115. So, it's under a dollar a watt, which is very nice. Um, unless you're buying in bulk, you can't find deals like that anywhere else. Um, I purchased it through eBay, but it is from High Tech Solar Inc. Okay, just two more. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that other one. Sorry, it's my first unboxing video. I just wanted to show you that this is genuinely the first time this is going to see daylight. Oh my lord. Okay. Alright. Huh, that's interesting. Never seen that before. Okay. Um this panel does not come wired does not come wired, but that's not really a problem for me. I'm pretty good at soldering and stuff. So I'll just give you a look into the box here. Uh if I could, it needs a screwdriver. Okay, and you can see it says it is a 120 watt panel, 16.9 volts. Um, 7.45 amps. So what you're really looking at is probably 87 watts um, at 15.2 volts at 5.74 amps. Um, and that's more realistic generation. I don't know what's up with this goo, but I'll check that out later. And just to make sure it's not broken, you can see that the panel is fine. Um, I don't see too much discoloration in the cells. Not that it would matter. Discoloration. It can be expected. I don't really like that, but it just looks like they used soldering glue. Um, I'm sure it's fine, but of course I'm going to check and test it. Alright. 
video is very sturdy. Um, you should always make sure that your frame is straight. It's something you really want to look at because if it's not, you can see that frame is true. If it's not, it cannot cause your glass to shatter. But uh, yeah, um, maybe in a little while I'll do a review of this.